it makes the list as one of the greenest cities in America. Mike Brookbank gives us a look back at Cleveland's impressive Irish roots around town. We do have a terrific history in a lot of ways. Kevin McGinty highlights some of Cleveland's impressive Irish history as we approach St. Patrick's Day. They worked extremely hard. They lived a tough life. It was a rugged life. Among those hard workers, world featherweight boxing champ Johnny Kilbane, who now has a street named after him. When he came back with the title, over 100,000 met him at Public Square. I mean, that was just amazing. Life. Kilbane is not the only Irishman from Cleveland who made a name for himself. The composer of two of the greatest Irish songs in our history, Mother McCree and When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, was born here. That composer, Ernest Ball, is buried in Cleveland's Lakeview Cemetery. While things change over time, the one thing that hasn't is comedy in the Irish culture. We're one of the few people to this day, though, that has a sense of humor. You know, like a lot of people are losing that. That humor will be on display downtown Sunday. This will be the 146th running of the Cleveland St. Patrick's Day Parade. Up to 13,000 marchers and colorful floats will fill the streets, with many families waving on. The parade kicks off here at East 18th and Superior at 2.04 Sunday afternoon, and while this is a good spot to catch the action, those in the know say it's not the best. Probably the funnest place to watch it, though, is going to be right in front of the reviewing stand, which is at East 3rd and Superior. For some, St. Patrick's Day is a giant party. For others, it's honoring Irish history. But regardless of why you celebrate, remember, we're all Irish this weekend. It's a feel-good day. I, I wish we had an early day like St. Patrick's Day. People, I don't know why, but they flock to each other, they're good to each other. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank.